Okay, I somewhat fixed it. Um, the now the bottom is slightly messed up. It honestly isn't that noticeable. I did like a, I tested it, and there's there's probably like a little black line at the very bottom. But honestly, you're not even looking. There's abs there's literally nothing down there. But um, for some reason, OBS like when you try to crop it, you know, it has like the crop the top, bottom, and then you can stretch it with the corners. But for some fucking reason, I don't know why. When you try to crop the top and bottom, it acts like it's changing the size of the whole thing. I don't know why it's like that. And... I don't... whatever. I... It's better than... But whatever, this guy wants a big gut punch. Alright. Uh... I want to give him a gut punch, right? That was a... Bitter one, I think. Because all the bitter ones are like named after like... Punches and stuff. Yeah, bitter. Uh, he wants a... Big one. Right? So, fucking 10? Just fucking whatever. Uh. He. Uh, he didn't mention, like, wanting it to be alcoholic, right? He just said big. Uh. All. Aged and mixed. Alright. Here. You can actually do it then. Why is everybody so surprised? My job is a bartender. <laughs> this crack house is bar. Oh, hellhole crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? Then why are you here? <laughs> surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all? But yeah. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question, then, Mr. Anger McDougal. <laughs> is that his real name? Sorry about the smell, working on, uh, fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend, but it's Tuesday. Please let me know what I can do to, uh, make your experience. This dude's fucking name is Anger McDoodle. <laughs> McDougal? Fucking what a name. Uh, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will we, will we come with me to a mo- No. No. <laughs> then I have no use for beyond giving me drinks. Jesus. What an asshole. <laughs> May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Uh, somebody recommended me this place and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. Uh, she says she's a regular here and all, I'm starting to doubt her taste. A regular, can I ask who? No. Okay, I can see one thing, whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Well... Oh, hey Joe, where did you put the dish soap gills running out? Below the sink where it's always been. I guess, I guess this is our boss then. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. Uh, is there any other feedback you want to provide the staff so that we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slow into this place knowing she's here. Oh, do you like her? You know what I'm asking? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Uh, Donna Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off, um, mall riders all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. The hell? That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening the bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know where she got her mechanical arm? She has a mechanical arm? I didn't see that. Uh, I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. I've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed riders with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. Uh, you can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved Class 5 weaponry, the other one a pickup artist, and the last one an alpaca. Why are animals coming in here? An alpaca? Yeah, an alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but this is this woman that owns a textile company. Oh, okay. She got really drunk so she started screaming and she was an alpaca. Oh. She started spitting on everything afterwards my boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Dogs are still coming in, right? Fucking, I don't know what that. Uh, can I get you anything else? Give me a power driver. Uh, please, that's what I ever heard today. Coming right up. I just feel like suplexing him. Fucking Jill wants to beat the shit out of this dude. Uh, power driver. He didn't mention anything about it being big, so. One, two, three. Uh, mixed. That's about it. Power driver. Here. It's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? 
what? I'm sorry, I think I heard run. Nope. That's a question I'm not going to answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was thinking about how good a lie can be. So you asked that. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Us can buy you time. Us can make you happy. Gravity will often come crashing through the door eventually, but that moment you lie and give meaning to you. I say you lies are like your porn stash. <laughs> I know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Doesn't mean you really faked one. Because you look like you have a lot of experience. I do... Jill did have a shirt that said SWAT on it, so... Still, that's quite the random thought you just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really, I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. Of course you are. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Alright, already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit too quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. Dude's weird. Fringe. Jesus, this is gonna fucking destroy him. <laughs> Just fucking Jesus. Uh, aged. It's like drinking ethnic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Uh, aged and mixed. It's gonna fucking destroy him. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's part of myself that's just like, well, you just fucking <laughs> whatever. Uh, nurse, you get out to do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might uh, keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative, which is bitches and alcohol. Sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs. The fuck is sex tourism? I once burned my Christmas bonus high in three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I'm also high. That's like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. You have some issues, dudes. <laughs> Rescuing a puppy? <laughs> I can't fuck puppies, at least you shouldn't. I'm drawing him. What is this guy's problem? <laughs> can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to please me. Eh. Kind of been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smells, this smells killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. Yeah, good. This guy's fucking weird. <laughs> I'm gonna take my break. Alright. That was fucking. Oh, that's cool. I like this hurt. Oh, it's just like, oh, uh, that dude was fucking weird. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's like a level. Got it. I like these little characters. Alright. How do I... Okay. It's now safe to keep playing. What does that mean? <laughs> was this a threat? <laughs> Snow. <laughs> what was that? What does that mean? It's now safe to keep playing? Well, was I like in danger? <laughs> Isn't it get locked up this time? Get locked up? Um. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's just a level. I don't know what. Wh where did we get to? Uh. So I just like. I can't like. Oh, okay, there we go. I have to right click. That's a cool noise. Uh, after, where do I go from here? There's a lot of songs. Uh. All right. Okay, then back in action. Oh, it's a robot. Do you drink oil? Good. <laughs> um. Would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable. I usually forget I have it. Oh, you're not a robot. Hi. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, what can I get you, miss? Master Specialist. Sai P. Azuri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. What can I get for you, Say? Uh, let's see. I'm not in the mood for a sweet drink. Uh, but not sweet as in... Oh, I am in the mood for not sweet as in cool. 
Although cool drink would be nice too. Um, not as cool as in great, and especially not in not as in big. More since I have to get up early tomorrow, and I can't afford a hangover. Uh, sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I can do that. <laughs> Give me a sec. Uh, an AC, so bottle drinks. A fedora. Weird. Uh. Promo, is that mean? Uh. Sweet. Um. So. I need to find something that's. fucking. with ice. Uh. Okay. That's bubbly. Just go. Sweet. Yes. Okay, so this it goes by. It's going by names, right? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, sweet. That's big though. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's six, seven. Yeah, it's too big. That's really big. Uh. All right, this is good. Sparkling star. All right, sweet, girly, and happy. <laughs> Uh, two of those power dental is optional, so I'm not gonna. Well, that's H. Damn it. Reset. Uh, can I just put ice on a normal drink, or does it have to be like with ice on? Just go away to the beginning. Sour. All aged. Yeah, it's too big. Because this is not too big. That's really big. Still big. So, yeah, like, there's Sparkling Star, which isn't big and sweet, but it doesn't mention on the rock, so can I just put ice in it? Or does it have to, like, say? Or I can do sh Sugar Rush. That's all of them. So let's just try doing this and see what it says. Yeah, it says failure. What do you want, woman? <laughs> Sweet piano woman. That's way too big. Small, sweet, and icy. I wonder if I have something so suspicious. So I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Moon plus six, seven, it's eight. This is eight. He said that if it's more than ten, it's big. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Bam. Six, seven, eight. And two, eight, nine, ten. Damn it! Oh, he, but he said that this doesn't count towards, right? It's blunted. Fuck it, let's do it. Here you are. Yes, this is just what I needed. Okay, okay, I figured it out. <laughs> Uh, we don't get many white knights. Oh, she's a white knight. Um, I can remember one other, in fact. Uh, you said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh no, you're thinking of the Blitzkrieg Corps. Blitzkrieg. <laughs> those are huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously you are different people. We don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you can see we deal with the aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who sue those suffering enemy attacks. We are the light of hope in the darkest times, the one who assists the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Uh, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance, we decided every morning. Uh, what it means is that our duties mostly indulge for rescuing civilians, hearing the injured, and protecting from stuff. What kind of stuff? Uh, burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. I'm to see you, are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but well, I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I mean, you have medical... whatever. 
I'm also kind of a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, uh, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. Yeah, I must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down, uh, I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and then there was a time we were cleaning up the aftermath of the car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant with lights and scattered pieces of glass. It was almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. I mean, that's pretty cool. Those sights and they're shocking, right? What is your issue? <laughs> Do you have some sort of mental problem that you can't understand what people are saying? <laughs> yeah, but never mind. Uh, I should size? No. I mean, sure. I have suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrating size from people after everything's said and done, but don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just looking at a different kind of answer. Kind of answer. Don't worry about it too much. <laughs> you finish your drink, I get you anything else. Um, classy. Uh, can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Uh, sorry, I don't come into bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem, don't worry. A classy drink, right? Uh, a small classy drink. Uh, that, that's, that works, yeah. Four, five, six, and the care of a dream doesn't change anything. Oh, uh, mixed. Alright, here you are. Yep, this looks like something Estelle will drink. Who? She's my dearest friend, not that I ha don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. I like these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. What do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Uh, same, Miss Park Hunter. What's your name? Jill. You know my name. So now I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Uh, Julian. Do not call me Julian, please. Why? Sorry about that. Uh, no, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, why don't you like be called by your full name? It's a stupid reason not to dwell on too much on that. Okay, I still feel bad about angering you though. Why? Because you look like a real nice girl, Joe, and I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps you the first person to say something nice to date, thanks. Uh, what do you like about it? Oh, okay. The smell of dog urine, so... Um, I'm used to be a veterinarian, and I usually go to a clinic after school, so the smell takes me back, alright? Comfy and nostalgic. <laughs> Uh, what makes you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine. But you're a paramedic. Well, par paramedics have to know something. They know stuff. It can answer the question. I decided it's mostly because it was something that happened while I was a kid. When I attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next, I just woke up in the hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't, uh, a pro prophetic, prophetic, yeah. Prophetic, right? I never heard that word <laughs> or anything, but uh, ever since then I felt like that was my calling. Uh, that I wouldn't help people the same way they helped me. Uh, that's interesting though. Why would one being attacked by a white knight would make you run the option direction? Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guided myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extreme extent, but you get me. Yeah, I kind of do the same too. Uh, why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible, and going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. Uh, it's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Uh, now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? So I, I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type, there are many different classes. Rescue, assault, there's even a squad full of bigger crats. Really? Uh, yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. Uh, people usually ask them uh, because they speed up processes. But a few are assigned when a company is suspected for having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There's also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. How's that work? They're doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I mean, some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. That's strange. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. And besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll have something else. A martini? Brantini. No, I'm pretty sure it's a martini. It's a brandini. Trust me, I'll get you one. Is a mar is a martini like copyrighted? Is that why they changed the name? Um, yeah, there's no martini. I guess that's a 
copyrighted thing? 8 out of 10 smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes, alright? Jesus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, Age. I don't even know what age means. Yeah, not, I get, because they called it a brand teeny, so I guess a martini is a brand name. I didn't know that. I thought it was just a thing. I, I could I could still be wrong. Here, you see? Huh, you are right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I feel like, uh, uh, I like the feel of this place and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult, though. She's more into, uh, classier places. Not this place isn't nice, but don't worry. I know, I know the kind of place I work in. Let's see. Oh, I just need to... What was that? Sounded like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. Okay. Bye. She left her helmet. <laughs> Oh, he's coming back, I'll just hold on to it. Uh, I'll go check what the ever-loving ever hell of the explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Oh yeah, she woke up the explosion. She was weird. I don't know what her issue was. She was... I don't know. She was out of it, I feel like. Uh, where am I? You need, you need to welcome Valhalla. It might not have been the best thing to say. Valhalla, am I dead? Does that mean that the Uncle Ingus ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shy... Like Uncle Uncle Ingus? No, that was Ingram. Oh, I thought it was the other guy. Um, a shoddy downtown bar, true. Called it. <laughs> afterlife. I'm not dead, as far as I can tell. No. To be fair, I don't know how depth or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Is she? Are you? Then where the hell am I? How uh, how did I get here? Who brought me here? What the hell were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers, robbers, rapists, pickpockets? Get pick. Why did pickpockets kidnap you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise they'll just... You're a rapist, aren't you? <laughs> the rapists fell a lot of you. Oh god, beat me unconscious. Oh Jesus. And then brutally murder me. Jesus. Don't you? Oh Jesus, what is her problem? Uh... Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or to throw at her face. There is something that will calm her down. Calm her down? What does that mean? Can I wait? Well, that's, that's, way, that's way too long. I can't read every single one. Like I said. Yeah, this isn't a Bloody Mary, it's a Bleeding Jane. <laughs> you look like a fool. So... Soft. Where is... Because, like, the feeling is, like... Soft coat might be it, unless there's, like, a... Yeah, because there wasn't, like, a... Yeah, there isn't, like, one that this is, like... Vintage or a sobering or whatever. Soft is probably or a happy is probably a good. Uh, yeah, let's just go for soft. I don't know. I don't really know what she's saying. Have that. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serve drinks. A uh, bar. So I figured I could give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. Okay, so I could have just given her anything, I guess. Is this how much money I've made? The 3,280? Like, I don't know. To calm down, which is spice with roofies. <laughs> uh, oh god, no, I won't ever think of that. Your studying makes you suspicious, you know. If you add anything like that to your drink, they dock my pay in tips. Not to mention, I'd have to pay any loss lawsuits myself, and that's the best case scenario. I could get fired or lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anybody who commits that particular felony. Uh, they show some all proud and hefty PR boost. And I thought the going into all that is just... Burr. <laughs> Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and there's just three businesses to your left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Oh, that's kind of cool of the... That's nice of the, uh, 
convenience store that like you can just go to and get a drug test for free because they know it's a bar. Uh, two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What? Am oh my god. How? Why? Toilet? What? <laughs> I'm back. You tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. Says negative. There you go. But you could be in coots with the car at the store. He even knew, m knew your name. Good point, but first of all, I'm not. it's not my name, it's my boss's. Uh, second, we are pretty much part of the chain, sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. What? And finally, I'm not making you uh, drink this. I offered you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part, sorry. You can just ignore the drink, go through that door, and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're in pe uh, You're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that it lack my actions yield? Why is everybody fucking lunatic in this place? Uh, what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste you so easily? No, I- Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant that your work does matter. Um, I sure you should drink it so fast, so... So, how was it? Too strong, do you think this would calm me down? Uh, I guess I get did kinda matter. I didn't- There's no carry machine in it, right? Did I put any? I don't remember. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you're telling the truth. Sorry about that. Uh, no problem. If I were you, I'd probably react it the same way. Is she holding a book? Or is that like her sh like an undershirt? I can't tell. Should apologize for my uh, last comment too. It came in a bit uh, as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while here. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were sleeping until that car crash outside. I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the street, ship to clothes, dignity, and or organs. Uh, fair enough. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. Uh, I'll tell you what, your drinks are in the house tonight. Why would you do that? Uh, consider this apology on behalf for everybody here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, there's something right down tells you you need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay, then, I'll make it- I'm happy. Will you be fine? Uh, yeah, I just got the last one, so I won't do this one. Uh, come here. You don't seem woman asking for a piano man. What's what's some special about a piano man? Oh, there's a piano woman, so I don't know. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, da, da, da. What? Fuck, I, I forget about Flandering every single time. I don't know why. Fucking moron. A lot of stuff. It's, it's been huge. Here. Yeah, this is the one. I mean, that used to drink. Uh, these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. Oh, what did he do, your dad? I mean, to evoke a pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when some pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Uh, some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. Uh, I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. <laughs> I see. Uh, Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend on of his that had just died. Probably mixes all the flavors said friends like the most. Oh, that's nice. So what's the piano woman then? There's another one. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a hard day at work. Not really. You passed out. I think this is different from just going to work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Uh, where do you work, Miss Kim? Alright. Uh, I don't know if I say I work yet, though I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Oh, she works at the Augment today. Uh, early every morning. In fact, uh, Steve Harvey was here early. Uh, I know, I smelled his nasty clone. Uh, the master leaves his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. Uh, God, you have no idea how much I hate that. Chauvinistic horse boiler. What does that mean? Harsh words. Hor oh, I fucking didn't read that. So forceful about the things he wants so that people have to uh, have it done before they realize what's going on. Uh, he even got a pizza delivery boy to work some server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. 
uh, and would you believe that guy became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience? Uh, it's kind of admired, but at the same time, I hate his guts. I mean, I imagine a uh, server maintenance pays more than being a pizza delivery guy. Uh, no one have to work for him. It's for I. Uh, why are you working there then? Uh, did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it though. Fair enough. Uh, what's your name, bartender? Jill. It's hard to be a bartender. I guess it's as hard as being a cook of somewhere. If you keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality, I'll be answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the uh, chemical hazards some people might leave behind while. At one point, I thought about being a bartender, but I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothing and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? Uh, I guess I was lucky if a holiday didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. I was just one of the comfy place, I think. Ross sounds like an interesting person. What was, uh, what with wanting to put somewhere safe and all that? She is. She's sort of cool and collected, but she has no qualms of being some showing excitement and stuff. I need to see her again because I need to look at her arm. She says she has a mechanical arm. Sir, she's been bent tense the last couple of days. But even then, uh, with your, you're with her everything. When you're, but even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. <laughs> she also has this, yeah, she also has a mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but, huh. Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character <laughs> using here. I do that. We nice to meet this boss of yours sometimes and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pe uh, pester her that way. Besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. Uh, you can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I'll have another drink. Uh, a Brantini. Uh, she wants a printing team, sorry, I uh, yeah, that, I, I just looked that up. Is it just like, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, uh, eight, and six. Well, like, um, I'm wondering, because like, I'm gonna look up after this episode. Yeah, I guess this will be the last person because it's 30 minutes. I'm gonna look up if Martini is a brand name and know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> Here. That seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey, Joe. Uh, was this job like a lifelong dream or something? Not really. It just kind of happened. One thing led to another, and bam, bartending. Uh, do you not? Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I uh, can remember being passionate about was buying a uh, buying a Model Warrior Julian arcade machine. Can't say I'd given up on that one, but at last, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. Uh, you never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really, I mean, most of the dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams. Having room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. What's a model, model warrior, whatever. Um, I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast in, to me. For it. Uh, that sounds nice. Uh, so, no dreams? Not that I, I felt particularly motivated to chase now. Yeah, this sounds good. I mean, yeah, but... Synth and Stitch. Alright, there we go. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find any to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. Uh, somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Oh. The dog's left a mess. I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Uh, John, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smoke cleaning in my body. <laughs> sure. Um, who is he? A ghost. Maybe you should worry about. Oh, um, I heard that. Why are you asking all these questions? Uh, because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idolize the idea of dream talk too much. And everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, she's a liking to it. Some take a liking to a job, others find it. After many failed attempts, sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Uh, maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you and come again. And that's it. Uh, yeah, she does have a mechanic arm. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Uh, where's Gil and where's the girl that was there? Uh, Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Uh, Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks and left. Uh, so she's called Kim. How'd she look to you? How was she? Uh, she was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Uh, are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Uh, hey boss, do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonable? No, not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. 
Uh, uh, anyway, you're free to go after you finish up washing up the glasses. Uh, let me transfer you to today's payments. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Alright. Uh, total earnings, 3000 How much money did I have to make? Um, mistake zero, commission 30%, today's payment, tips, flawless room. Here's an extra for helping that girl come down. Uh, alright. I forget how much money I have to make. Oh yeah, uh... 800? Yeah, done. <laughs> uh... Shining finger will automatically renew unless we can make sure. What the hell is a shining fingered? I need to figure that out. Uh, Jill is lost and thought about a hollow planet. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Danger Dash U. You can now visit JC Elton's. Alright. <laughs> I noticed that. I, said, I thought it said like Best Buds, but it says Best Boss and it's a picture of Donna. <laughs> it's weird. Um, there's the slut shirt. Uh, f yeah, four is the cat. Where are you going to have curry yesterday? J a ghost money. The fuck are you talking about, Jill? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll end the episode here. Uh, I like this. It's fun. But, um, uh, I'm going to look up the hell why, if Martini is a brand name in the meantime, I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Um, but, yeah, alright. Bye.